Welcome to the PH4410 review on hierarchical clustering. So in the previous video review, we have seen how the minimal spanning forest algorithm can be used to uh, perform clustering of different stocks, uh, which uh, separating them into stocks with very similar uh, price, price dynamics uh, and between uh, groups of between uh, different clusters, uh, the, the dynamics is uh, distinctly different. So, uh, but that's not the traditional clustering method. Uh, in, tr in, in typically unsupervised machine learning, we, dip we, you we deal with hierarchical clustering or partitional clustering. For the purpose of econophysics, uh, we typically do hierarchical clustering. And the way to do it would be to start from the distances dij equals to 1 minus cij or to use the ultrametric distance dij equals to square root 2 times 1 minus cij. Now what I'm going to describe is the agglomerative algorithm. So we start by we start by uh, we start with n clusters of one element each And then each step, and each step we find clusters with the minimum linkage uh, and merge them. Okay, now uh, the, the final step would be to continue until the well, until we end up until we end up with one cluster of n elements Okay, so the, the algorithm doesn't seem to say very much, but uh, we, we do need to distinguish between three different kind of uh, linkages. So let me show how that looks like uh, by going to a new page. So first of all, um, let me split the page into three uh, and draw three. So here's one cluster with three objects, three elements. And here's another cluster with three elements. Now, in the single linkage algorithm, for, of, for hierarchical clustering, uh, what we will use as the distance between two clusters is the minimum distance. So this is the minimum distance between the two clusters, and this is the single linkage algorithm. Alternatively, we could also do this. So here's the same two clusters again. Okay, one, two, three. Alternatively, we can also adopt the complete linkage algorithm. In the complete linkage algorithm, the distance between two clusters is actually the maximum distance between the two clusters. So this is the minimum distance and this is the maximum distance between the two clusters and this will be taken treated as the distance between two, uh, two clusters. Uh, then finally there is the other common uh, algorithm which is the average linkage algorithm where we have these two clusters And the distance between the two clusters is defined as the average distance between the two clusters. So this is the average. Okay. So uh, in most cases, single linkage algorithm is for phylogenies. So if you are thinking of building a phylogeny, then this is the algorithm that you will adopt uh, for dynamic for dynamics, dynamical clustering to find uh, objects with the same dynamics 
we normally choose to use, uh, apply the complete linkage algorithm. Now let's see how this uh, the clustering works in uh, in practice by using the same uh, example that we have used so far. So let's copy this uh, example and paste it here. Let's move it over to one side so that we can draw the dendrogram. Uh, Okay, and let me just get rid of the. Oh, okay. I don't want uh, I, I don't want a cursor. I want a pen. Okay, and let me get rid of the diagonal, and consider only the upper triangular matrix elements. Uh, so the the largest correlation, of course, we have seen that many times, is that between number seven and number no sorry the largest is between is between eight and six okay so we have drawn that uh, in uh, in the minimal spanning forest algorithm in the minimal spanning tree algorithm so here let us let's sketch it this way so six and eight has a correlation of 0 0.882 so its distance if we use the linear distance okay is this much so this height here is 1 minus 0 0.88 so this is about 0 0.11 okay so this is the first to be clustered together then the next one to be clustered will be between is 7 and 7 and 4 or uh, in fact no uh, it is here the next one to be clustered should be 3 and 2 3 and 2 so let's uh, draw 3 and 2 so 2 3 and sketch that out and the height is a little uh, higher than the distance between 6 and 8 because uh, it is 0 0.86 and since we are still comparing the distance between two points uh, this particular the linear distance would be good enough uh, for us to, to, to uh, it would be good enough for, for, for the, the, the distance between the two clusters uh, the next one that we will draw will be zero point. Uh, it will be zero point eight five nine six seven between four and seven, and we have seen that this is actually uh, close to. Uh, it is actually close to six and eight. So let's draw it in between. So this is four and seven. So it is a little bit higher than two and three. Now, what do we do next? So what we do next is uh, we we have. 2 and 3 and 4 and 6 and 7 and 8 we're missing 1 we're missing 1 we're missing uh, 5 so let's see uh, where these will come in so the next largest correlation uh, after we have exhausted those correlations that are larger than uh, that, that are larger than uh, 0.8 is this one here which is 0.75896 so this is between 8 and and 4 so this is between 8 and 4 uh, but 4 is already incorporated into a cluster and 6 is uh, 8 is also incorporated into a cluster if we want to use the single link algorithm then this will be the uh, 1 minus this will be the distance between the two clusters otherwise if we want to use the complete linkage algorithm then we need to consider uh, a few other uh, correlations as well and that is between 6 and 4 8 and 7 as well as between 6 and 7. So 8 and 4 we know is this. What about, uh, what about 6 and 4? So 6 and 4 is here. So this is 6 and 4. Okay, it is 0.45. If we want the complete linkage algorithm, we want the largest distance uh, or the smallest cross correlation. So this is between 6 and 4. Now what about between... Uh, what about between... Um, 8 and 7 between 8 and 7 so between 8 and 7 is 0.15974 so this is smaller still so is there any any other correlation we need to to pick so you can see that the the pairs that we can construct out of 6 8 6 8 and 4 7 will be uh 6 2 4 6 2 7 8 to 4, 8 to 7. Okay, so we have checked this. We have checked 
eight, four, and eight, seven. So, so now the, the, the remaining thing to check will be six, seven. So that is here. So that is this one here. So it's four, eight, 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 zero. So this is not the uh, smallest. The smallest is here. So between uh, eight and seven. Uh, between 8 and 7 and the correlation is 0.15974 so the distance is actually close to about 0 0.84 so we have to draw one up here okay so this will uh, merge the two clusters but at this particular correlation level now of course we wonder whether we will merge it with something else before that so we have to uh, go through the, the, the algorithm very carefully. Uh, so let's look at the cross-correlation, the next set of largest cross-correlation, which is 7 and uh, seven and uh, 1. Okay, so set seven, 7 belongs to uh, this cluster 4-7. Uh, 1, of course, is still a point, so we can use this distance, but we also should look at 4-1, which is here. So the distance between... 1 and 4, 7, the cluster 4, 7 is actually uh, about 0 0.3, uh, about 0 0.33. So this is not the, this is not the, the one that we should draw first. We should draw the one, we should draw 0 0.33 first. And that is to, that will merge 4, 7 with 1. Okay, so let's do that. So we have 1 here, and this will merge it at a level that is about here. Okay, and then finally, that's, uh, so we have considered, we have already merged 1, so now uh, it's 5. So for 5 merge, who will 5 merge with first? Let's see, uh, 5 is uh, this uh, column here, so 5 is closest to uh, 1, okay, 5 is closest to 1, but, uh, and actually also to 2, so to 2, but it needs to be close to, if it's close to 2, it also needs to be close to 3, but it, it turns out that it is not. Uh, it is close to, uh, 5 is close to 4, and 5 is close to 7. 5 is close to 7, so actually we should merge, we should merge 5 with 1, 4, 7. So let's put 5 here. Uh, it will merge with 1, 4, 7, like so. And then uh, it will, the next step it will probably merge with uh, six eight before it merge with two three. So obviously I need to do this more carefully, but uh, in the short time that is available for this dem for this uh, review, I guess this is uh, a short demonstration of how the uh, agglomerative complete linkage uh, hierarchical clustering uh, algorithm works.